win all the time. I honestly, I would not win. Even though I planned these courses and pestered on them, I still wouldn't win. So, I'm gonna, That's I'm gonna incredible. This How people can run this game. I know. Like, I literally know where all the controls are and how to get between them and still wouldn't win. It's good. I never uh, beat the guys on my courses. Yeah, Only if right. I train them, like, if you train sprint and do this course, like, six, yeah, seven can, times, then yes. Them then yes. Then yes. Then you are fast. So we are live, no? Okay. Yeah, I think, I think so. I haven't checked the actual Twitch. Hi. Welcome to I the most so. unorganized... Oh, Hi. can I hear myself? Right? We are? Yeah, I can hear myself. Why can I hear mm -hmm. myself? <laughs> Chris, it was from me, I guess. Oh, color, jeez. Yeah. Rookie. Uh, yeah. So this is the this is this is a thing that we're doing. Um, basically, we've got some people, and we're gonna play some catching features. And uh, so the general premise here is that Chris and some other British orienteers are wanting to get some practice in. On like high pressure situations and the best way to get high pressure situations is live streaming your failures on the internet uh, so that's what we're doing and we've invited some of our uh, professional uh, catch and features comrades to join in as well so that we've got like a good little trip together um, so we got everyone's favorite household favorite Joe Sunley uh, he's a he's a household name amongst the British Catch and Features community. Uh, <laughs> expecting big things from him tonight. <laughs> um, who else have we got? We've got Megan Carter Davis, classic. Um, got Joe jo Lou. I have no idea who that is. Never seen that name before. That'd be fun. Uh, Chris, can you shed any light on this this person? Uh, sorry, I wasn't listening. Yeah, no. Yeah. The Swiss guy. Yeah. It's Jonas Ecker. He's quite well known for uh, is, being is in the Swiss national team and oh, nice. running World Cups, I think. Okay, so th this is the first indication that um, I don't follow Orienteer in, <laughs> in any way. <laughs> um, but that's fine. So yeah, he's here. Swiss national team. Good. Uh, doesn't have coronavirus, hopefully. Uh... I hope so. <laughs> uh, We've got Jeremy. Uh, we've got Chris Smith, Arch, Minty, we've got Martin, Camilo, we've got Rune de Klerk, another staple household name amongst the lockdown orienteering scene. Uh, we've got Chris Smith again. Uh, <laughs> we've got everyone's favourite um, colour, who is uh, who's also with us. He's going to be running some races today. We're going to get to see the master at work, see how he can stack up against the likes of Joe Sunley. Are you scared, colour? Mm, yes. Yeah, good. In sprints, you, yes. Yeah, you ought to be. Uh, we also have Coulson, who we have also seen. He has a first name. I don't remember his first name. Is it Ma Matthew? I don't know. Um, and we also have Nick Lightfoot. So a few S Y N um, boys. I I'm in as Nick. So. Oh okay. Because I'm on my computer. So. Who's in as Jamie then? <laughs> Is there someone? Oh no, Robbie! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. yeah, my brother's running. Yeah. That's my uh, that's my dyslexia coming in. I just saw S Y O and an L and assumed it was you, but yeah. it's not. It was, it was your brother. So yeah, Robbie likes it as well. Pretty good on the uh, on the sprints, isn't he, Jimmy? It's not bad. Yeah, he's he's all right. He's he's very young as well. I think yeah. he's almost definitely the youngest here. By just a little way. baby. Yeah, he's just a, he's a he's and with. With Joe as well. I don't think I've ever seen Joe lose. So <laughs> I, okay, I have I had I've the privilege. I've witnessed him win. So I have had the privilege of watching Joe get beaten. So um, by who? By who? Uh, it was in the early days of the lockdown orienteering. He was in the finals, but you know some people like I'm pretty sure Rune has actually beaten him before. Um, but those yeah, were... Rune's also very good. Yeah. He, he ends he ends up in the finals a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I know who did beat him, but I will not tell you. It's a secret. <laughs> oh, it was color. 
<laughs> maybe, maybe. Been. Must have been. That's the only way he could possibly know. Because no one knows the lockdown orientation better than me, Connor. <laughs> it, was a, it was a default uh, name, actually. And oh, yeah. I don't remember, but I think I won it. The yeah. first one you made. Hmm? Uh, it wasn't me, it was cool. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think you might have. Uh, no, I don't, uh, I don't actually remember who won what. No, no, I didn't win. Um, I won your uh, series. Not oh, yeah, yeah, you did. You, you did win my one. Well, you won one of the races. But, um, right, so I think we're almost ready to go. Everyone's, everyone's checking in, saying they're good to go. Uh, I think, Chris, if we just watch Joe Sunday's perspective. So, unfortunately, uh, Chris is both playing and streaming today. Oh. So, uh, whilst he is oh, playing, yeah. we will be very stationary on Joe Sunday. We'll try and like give you some updates on what else is going on. Um, but yeah, today, Klein Woods, a uh, little bit of background, Klein Woods is uh, somewhere near where Megan Carter Davis is because she was there this morning, <laughs> which is a fun turn of events. And that's the goal. There they go. So, um, yeah, uh, uh, this is uh, a little forest sprint. So uh, the forest is pretty dense, can't really see through it very well. Um, but it is quite quick, so going out to the path isn't going to always be the quickest option. Um, and Joe Sunley straight off the bat in the lead. He's just, he's just beaming. He's just so good. Like, how can this boy think so quickly? Like, he's he's just... moving as well as quick. Yeah, You can definitely. see he takes no time to look at the map of the control whatsoever. Yeah, he already knew exactly where he was and going. And he is, like. he's off like a rocket here. I would love Not to see... In... I'm, I'm ah, genuinely really excited. I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm genuinely really excited to see um, what happens when he uh, goes back to regular orienteering because mm. this boy, if this boy can run, I don't actually know him at all. Um, but if he can run, he, he's going to be so good at sprint orienteering. Let me tell you that. And he's just miles out of the competition. I mean, no one is even able to see him at this point. Yeah, Jeremy doing his best to keep up with Ruben. And Robbie Light. Robbie, Look what? At that. Robbie, <laughs> very good start there for Robbie. <laughs> Robbie Lightfoot in third place. You'll love to see it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Rudy fourth there. Camillo coming up in fifth along the path route there. You know, it's just a joy to watch Joe suddenly work. I'm not even mad that we can't it, see other people's perspectives. Some would call it an art form. I, honestly, that's exactly <laughs> how I'd describe it. Look at him just cutting his way through the trees. I mean, okay, he could have gone through the slightly lighter section there, but it doesn't even matter. He's got such a big lead at this point. Yeah. Looking at his he's splits. Trying, he's just trying to challenge himself at this point. <laughs> he's like fastest for almost every split. Maybe, really trying to, maybe trying to make the race a little bit more fair for everyone else. Yeah, definitely. Um, so looking back, uh, we've got, it's quite close at the moment for second place with second uh, place, yeah. we got Jeremy, uh, Rinda Clark's in there. Uh, everyone's kind of in there as well. I see Robbie's in there. Maybe Martin's a mistake in there. there from Robbie. Colour way off the back, looking yeah, like a yeah, fool yeah. right now. Um, yeah, Robbie is actually making a little mistake. Just hit the path and then decided to go left oh. instead of right. Yeah. And he's lost his he's lost his third place there. But yeah, do you know how you avoid that? If you aim off, then every time you hit the line features, you know which way you need to turn. That's just a case of, you know, in catching features, people love to go straight, but it's just it's risky. You know, if it works, it works. But when when it doesn't work, well, who knows and what's going to happen trying to stay comfortable here but being closed down by rune and pulson it is a bit of a mess in there isn't it everyone yeah. is right on top of each other it scrappy, looks like jeremy it? might be stuck no he's still moving but ah, pulson taking second though. place joe maybe a bit stuck on an earth wall on number 13 though so <laughs> good way in front of the others this is wow it is really tight for second place though Mm. Uh, still pulsing in the lead. Uh, Rune de Clark closely followed, and then Jeremy. I mean, they're all right on top of each other. All the uh, all the common names, like Joe suddenly is just he's gone. He's checked out. He's uh, he's only got only got two controls to get. Mm. I'm surprised to still see somebody with such mistakes. I did. <laughs> Carl are still in the mix. You know? How can they still be here? He's out of the top three. And but... the second place pack seems to have dropped off. Uh, well, it seems to have split up a little bit here. Paulson and Rune going into uh, yeah. a bit further on. Oh, no, they're bunched up again. That's Joe Sunley finished. That. Joe Sunley has won. Did we expect anything else? Mm, Not I'd really hope. on a sprint. It's his game. It's his, <laughs> it's his game. 
Uh, so here we go, Paulson coming in. Uh, just one control to get and then into the finish. Can he keep it clean? Will he keep this second place intact? Oh, going a little bit offline into the thick green. That's going to slow him down. Bruce, and Rune Clark. Right there. Oh my word, Rune Clark gets straight in. Back out into the path. Oh, it's so close. He takes it. Yeah. Rune yeah, Clark out of faster. nowhere. Posting Showing that the third. path at the end was faster than going through the terrain. Incredible. Incredible. Pulsing third, Jeremy fourth, Colour in fifth. A good comeback there from Colour. We love to see it. Yeah. Um, Terrible race. race. <laughs> uh, here we go, Camilo. I have no idea where they are trying to go. Is so, Robbie, after a good oh, start finished. there, That's fine. coming um, in in seventh place. Yeah, Robbie in seventh. Uh, Martin, that's a good showing from Martin. Do you know that? Uh, pretty impressed there. Yeah. Beating, beating Megan and Chris Lillard. So, yeah, very good. I have no idea what happened to these two. Um, I don't know where their mistakes were. Mistakes maybe, early on, I think. Maybe they were just taking their time reading the map, you know? Yeah. Can't complain, but uh, this is our, our final two coming in now. Um, just on the way to Control 12, heading up the hill. Chris Millard, uh, just hot on Megan's heels right now. Probably see each other. Yeah. But is he following? That's the real question. Or is uh, he doing a little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think I think Megan might be out of sight now. This is yeah. Here we go. I've just been asked by my dad to save the results, but I don't really know how to do that. Uh, okay, so just next to the time, see in that middle bar, there's the little save icon. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Export results to file, and then you get a nice little text file with all yeah. the results. So here we go, Megan Carter Davis into control fifteen, easy as you like. These last few controls quite easy although we did see that little that little root choice error from Paulson was enough to uh, to lose him second place so clearly not trivial the last few controls but definitely easier than than previous although Chris Millard's still managing to make a mess of it so there you go. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes Chris we're watching everyone else might not be watching but we can see uh, what you're doing things just <laughs> happen so quickly on this sprint scaling in catching features so it's easy to get a bit stuck in the green, or yeah. That was uh, that was very fun. Oh, and sorry, I didn't even notice, but uh, Jun Junu, I have no idea how. How do you pronounce the O with the umlaut above it? Is it an U sound? U. Junu, is that right? Junu. Junu. It's it's tricky to pronounce Swiss German language. Uh, yeah, they are. And. Joe, Joe really managing to show us there why he is so well known for these sprints. He just, he was miles it's, it's just the consistency, days. you know? Like, yeah, sure, he gets a lot of fast legs, right? But he's never making big mistakes. He's always on top of where he is. He always knows exactly where he needs to be and where he needs to be going. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just good, you know? It's just always... Um, Always on top of it. It's great. Oh, we've got Mouth. Mouth the Bolson. That's that's his name. Hi. Hello. Also, Jonas. And Rinda Clark's in as well. Oh my word, all the boys are in. It's it's a big a big old a big old Zoom call. Say hi everyone. How did that first race go? Rin, tell me, how does it feel to get that second place? Just out of nowhere, right right on the last control. Yeah, well, uh, I think it's the first time I had a good race on this map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it went uh, quite well. Um, sorry, two seconds. I need to tell Joe what map to do next. Right, to be ready to do the second one. Yeah, yeah. I was just telling um, telling Joe which map to do next. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, Rune, that was that was good. You know, you were uh, you're in second place, and then uh, you're in third place. Sorry, and then then Jeremy in front of you just has a little wobble into the trees, and boom, he's peasy. Thanks. Love to see it. Love did to he, see it. Did he maybe hit a tree at the end? Because on catching features, hitting a tree can be lethal when it comes down to these seconds. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't think that you right can fall out. over in these. Sometimes ones. even knocks you over. You can, you can't fall over in these ones. Oh. Color hates that sort of thing. He yeah. always gets rid of it straight away. For me, annoying. it's my favorite thing about the game. I think it's just like so ridiculous that it's hilarious. <laughs> like every time you're just running along, like looking at the map, and then suddenly you're on your face, and it's like. <laughs> have you have you ever been caught by the the gorilla? Yeah. So right, the thing the thing that annoys like me the most is when you're on an online race, sometimes you have the gorilla, sometimes you don't have the gorilla, and then sometimes he just like picks you up out of nowhere. And you're like, oh, man. So Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's terrible okay. running a competition and then just hitting a tree and then you just stuck for stuck for some seconds and just like seeing it feels like, seeing it feels like an eternity. Running. Yeah. <laughs> It would be nice if you could read the map while you're lying on the ground, but you can't even do that. You're just stuck. It's a nice time to contemplate your life choices, I think, you know? You got, mm -hmm. a, good, you got a good 15 seconds to work out where did you go wrong. <laughs> um, yeah, it's good, though. It's good. Uh, right, so... Now... Now we're getting into the, uh, into the good stuff. So, this is... Uh, Craig, could North. you... What, do you know what was happening on the stream? Was the stream following the map or not? I have no idea. Was anybody was watching the stream? I was oh, I trying to watch it, but I had no time while playing. So. <laughs> my, dad, uh, my dad said it was a bit too quick. I bit think. too quick? I, th I, I, don't, I don't really know what he means, but I think what it might that, be a bit too follow. I, I think uh, if you late. can... You should try to keep the map as as. Um, yeah, don't have the map rotating all the time. That's really yeah. annoying. But it's not so easy to do in this. Uh, yeah, because yeah. none of the buttons none of the buttons have um, <laughs> have any tooltips next to them. <laughs> to remember, this this game was made by one man. Yeah. yeah. It's quite impressive. God, and he's, God he's bless still, him. He still and replies to his emails. That's the yeah, crazy yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. This game was released in like the nineties, probably. No, no, <laughs> not the nineties, but early two thousands. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, and the servers, the online servers, still work. Like, yeah, yeah. You should be able to classify this as vintage. You don't get that sort of quality anywhere else except here. Like. It is vintage, but it's that's actually the nice thing about it. Yeah. Like the, it the makes thing... it really easy to change stuff, and that's what we need for yeah. our interior. The thing about this we... game, right, is that the reason it's good is the same reason that orienteering is good. Exactly. Like, it's not as if like okay. the game isn't good because of the game. The game is just good because it it genuinely is like quite a good representation of orienteering. And that's that's what makes it fun. And you can make uh, new maps quite easily. I wouldn't say easy, easy, but <laughs> quite easy to make new maps yeah, and new like... stuff. Um, yeah, so I've got some news on the stream. Uh, apparently, they couldn't really see it after the second control. I'm oh, not sure. That's not nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I could see it great. So... I'm trying to do too many things at once. <laughs> It's fine, Chris. Just abandon this race and uh, start the stream out. Oh, I didn't. You're gonna come back to the right there. button. Then. Uh, good luck. Yeah, uh, good luck, good guys. Uh, so anyway, Erskine, this is. Uh, Wait, oh, no, I wasn't in spectator mode. It's fine if you just press escape and then you can go to spectate. Um, so Erskine uh, is a few miles down the road from where I live. It's uh, a beautiful housing estate. Um, for orienteering uh, and yeah this map was very kindly made by uh, Lawrence Quinn from Ireland um, for a little competition that I run what? what? I, 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 really? <laughs> ah, come on and Joe suddenly gets it right can't be serious yeah <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's a really tricky little area. Um, lots of twists and turns. Very, uh, very enjoyable, and everyone is getting caught out by the not uh, again by the trick controls. Not no one's again. The control descriptions. You can't. Joe will love this stuff here. This is exactly his sort of thing. Yeah, Joe has already got a sizable gap. Uh, <laughs> Jeremy in second, as we've seen previously. Color in third this time. Uh, doing well. Rune the clerk in fourth. 
Go on, Rune, you're my favourite. Um, <laughs> I've never met you, but I always chewed on you in the uh, chewed you on in the in the lockdown stuff. I don't know why. I just just had an affinity yeah. with your orienteering style. <laughs> And the way the way Joe's man managing to see the smallest of gaps here. Yeah, well, that is the thing, right? And their minds must move very quickly because I I can't keep up and I'm not even having to try. <laughs> I know. Um, yeah, I mean, Rune, like uh, mm. Joe, sorry, is literally like, oh, he's out of sight. He's out of sight. Uh, but we've got a good fight for a second. We've got Jeremy and Colour right on top of each other, uh, getting a little bit stuck on the uh, on the old wall there. But that's just part of the game. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Colour taking a slightly different route choice, going for the diagonal. It's I think it works out for him. He gets a little bit of a yeah. Gets a little bit of time back there. That's nice. So it's these these little. Oh, ah. My, oh, look. I mean, prints like these. It's the small decisions that make it. Make I'd it. Love to so, see it. I so, didn't um, saw the wall there blocking me. <laughs> but that was nice. Too late. Um, yeah, Jer now again. Jeremy and Colour having a really good little ding dong battle here. Jeremy definitely having a little bit of a follow, you can see him just following Colour a little bit and then every time when, when Colour makes a little correction, Jeremy's quick to... I'm looking to, at to the contour of the description and I don't see anything! <laughs> <laughs> you forgot to put them in! Just, uh... Are you kidding me? Where would you least like the control to be? And that's where the control is. I think that's a good, uh, <laughs> a good rule of thumb to go with. Um, My question yeah, so, is... Is Joe's internet just quicker? <laughs> Not sure if it works like that, but it, it seems... It Somebody seems stop him. He's on a mad one. That's a, a second win from Joe suddenly. Uh, can Colour keep it together coming into the last control? Uh, a little bit of root choice. I got stuck made the a wrong bit. Decision. Jeremy going, going... Jeremy going for the diagonal. Colour going for the straight. It's going to be really oh, close. Like Jeremy's right just going to edge it out. There you go. Jeremy in for second. Oh, third. Great route choice at the end there from Jeremy. Yeah. None of this. I got stuck. No one cares. Um. <laughs> I got a bit stuck on the fence there. Or like when I was watching, uh, looking Goals at the map. in for four. Rune yeah. only managing fifth this time. That is a that is a disappointment right there. Just getting getting tricked by the, uh, by the, the early controls. Uh, Robbie Lightfoot coming in and... Uh, what looks like seventh uh, in sixth, sorry, uh, which is another really solid performance from him. Just a little bit off the fastest guys, but you know, uh, yeah, I think decent. You'd be happy with that. Would I be happy with that? Would Would he be happy with that? He'd be happy with that. Um, I'd say he'd be happy with that. Yeah. I think, yeah, he he doesn't play as much as he used to, but he he's still. Cuts practicing. You know, uh, Camilo in seventh. Uh, you, 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 you know. <laughs> you, you know. You, you know. Uh, yeah, now he was. Megan Carter Davis in ninth. That's a much better performance from her. Uh, much closer to the, to the uh, the athletes in front. Um, you you, you can just call me Jonas. Oh, okay. If you like to maybe a bit easier. <laughs> I, uh... I can't lie. I've been I've been avoiding trickier pronunciations in fear of butchering them. I didn't even realise that you were the same person. <laughs> I'm sorry for butchering your name multiple times. <laughs> and then you go Chris Millard and uh, and Martin just coming in right right next to each other. Very close. Uh, yeah, that was good. Nice short one. Uh, just on me again though. Unstoppable. Yeah. It's got something. He's a machine. So yeah. who didn't got tricked by uh, number four? I think everybody <laughs> was. Um, yeah. Even Joe was going the wrong way first. Yeah, I have uh, no idea what I did to control number three. So I just lost massive amount of time there. I ran around to control at number four I... and then I was on the wrong side. And <laughs> just standing like, wait, what happened? <laughs> Hey, fourth place though. Can't be too can't be too upset. No, it's fine. Yeah. Um Look at this mess we did to number nine. <laughs> so there 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 was one runner that went good at control four. I think, uh, Joe, I think Joe went alright. I think he yeah. he realized just a second yeah, yeah. late, but he got it all right. 
and also to nine, all but one got tricked. Oh yeah, was, uh, the stream was better that time apparently. So it was better. Yeah, it was good that time. Yeah, I uh, I had to I sorted it out at the start. That's why I was took so long. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> the excuse are coming now. Um, right, good. Well, so um, that was that was one side of Erskine North. Erskine, very diverse area. There's Erskine North and there's Erskine South. Actually, it's all just one big map called Erskine. But we're on the north, the north half of it, and we're going to go to the other half of the north half. Would, would you say it's trickier? Would you say it's easier? I'd say that you need to be in contact with the map more this time around. A lot more twists and turns, but less uh, uncrossable walls and things to catch you out. So yeah. it's kind of like a bit of both, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's, it sort of evens out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's um, definitely more twists and turns, but it doesn't really matter which route choice you take because they all will get there in the end. Now the stream is black for me. Yeah, just it's just reset. <laughs> so, Craig, where do you think you'd come in these standings if you run it? Bearing in mind that you've run the courses, or you've run them. I think that I would be able to beat Rune de Clare. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a rivalry? Now we will not have pictures for the stream. You started too early. Oh. Yeah, we're not. You need to can't go back. Oh, oh okay. Uh, so, sorry. Too quick for me. Yeah. We will start now anyway, or what? Mm, you should better cancel it. Okay, good. Sorry, Joe. So we all need to join again. Yeah. And download the map. one so yeah um i don't know jamie tell me who's your favorite well can you give me a top three <laughs> prediction please a top give me three first second and third no. obviously joe's gotta be in there somewhere yeah i'm just where where though that's the real question i'm, I'm thinking first or second <laughs> unless he has a bit of a meltdown because that <laughs> first or second come on man you've got to be well, more confident first, in yourself than he... that but if he does have a big mistake, he'll still be in the top three. <laughs> One guy got kicked. Any less would be would be not not good enough, really. <laughs> I'm going Joe first, Jeremy second, Colour third. Okay, same just as last time. Then. Yeah, just I just feel like those those guys really have a handle on it. You know, this this map just suited them. Uh, and Rune... they are and they are away and like a bat out of hell, some might say. Oh my word, Joe Sunny is not in the first place. This is think, this is an outrage. I think this is the first control that he has not been in first place this entire map. Although Paulson already getting tricked well, a little bit. Out there, so. A lot of people getting caught out by the impossible wall. If you know how to cheat the game, you can even cross uh, Including fan favourite Rune de Clerc. Sad to see it. No, top three of Joe, Paulson and Robbie not getting caught out by that number three. Oh, I'm sorry, Paulson. You can't actually get through there. I know it looks like you can on the map. And but... Joe and Robbie going through there. So Robbie was a good start here. Joe just about where he expected him to be. Robbie liked it. I was nowhere. Out of control, that's the question. And I think the answer is no. So Joe out there. Robbie being overtaken by colour. He's yeah. just a child. Go easy. <laughs> Have mercy on him. <laughs> oh, mercy. Oh yeah, I was even on top of the one. The, and the Joe yeah, not yeah. quite as much of a lead as he had last night. No, Joe Sunday, he's, I think he's rattled. I think that first that, that first yeah. couple of controls not being in first place has really rattled yeah. him. It's an and, unexpected uh, experience for him. Paulson, although getting stuck a little bit on the wall, he is hot on his heels. This is going to be Ooh. real close. And Paulson Love to see it. And then you've got Robbie Lightfoot in third, followed by Colour. This is... So Robbie oh, and Paulson looking to end his reign here. 
Paulson taking a better route than Joe, it seems. Oh my word, Joe's uh, he's had a mare. Joe is, Joe is having a having a nightmare. He has had but an absolute mare. He had to stop. Can I just? Wow. Joe suddenly stopped to look at his mare. Uh, <laughs> this is unbelievable. I got twisted and turned. What? I, these are scenes that no one has ever seen this before. This what? is a one of a kind moment right now. Paulson I mean, first. This is unbelievable. So I maybe my prediction will be right. It's the curse of the commentator. I said that Joe was a sure thing for first place, and look at it. Paulson with... Brun coming through in third there. Brun's a clear out of nowhere. He was, he was looking all out of shape, getting stuck on the uncrossable walls, and now look at him in third place. Rugby Lightfoot, unfortunately, falling falling away a little bit, but yeah. he had a really good showing in the start. Uh, Colour is... He has good spurs. I'm lost. I don't he's, know where I am. <laughs> he's out of there. Paulson with one control I don't know what get. happened. Unbelievable. And this could be the upset of the century here. Tell me, Martha, how does it feel? There we be, go. To be a winner. Yeah, it was... Uh, I got in and... A little bit start in the, the first uh, part of the course, and then I uh, got in in a in a really good flow, and uh, got some good flow in the map reading, and then uh, yeah, I love to see it all the way to Rune's the finish. Rune's a clerk in third place. Rune, another podium. What do you think? Excellent. Love your stuff. <laughs> uh, I can't imagine the tears that will be flowing in the Sunley household right now. I know this is. <laughs> Unheard of. I mean, I have to say, I'm a big, a big fan of Joe Sunley, but it is sometimes nice to see the uh, the, the underdog come through. <laughs> and I'm a big, big fan of Robbie Lightfoot there, coming to fifth. Robbie Lightfoot in fifth place. Good run Excellent. there. Jonas. Beating the big boys. Doing well, doing well. Pretty solid from him. Uh, you know, just, just ticking over. Uh, although Martin, Martin coming through. Martin getting caught out by the wall there. Yeah, just getting stuck a little bit on the wall. It's going to be close between these two. Who can get to the finish quickest? Martin just taking his time with the map reading. Obviously hadn't planned ahead. That's, not, that's, that's okay, though. That's okay. And there we go, Martin. That's a good performance from him. Yeah. Finishing sixth. Martin Ward, how does it feel? It's really great to get these this live feedback from the competitors. <laughs> you love to hear it. Um. <laughs> you can tell us how they feel the race. Yeah. Um, and here comes Colour. What happened to this boy? He was like, first on the first control, first on the second control, fell away a little bit, and then, wow, look at that mistake at number seven. Poor show. Poor show. I can't I got, believe I got sick there. That was just really, really steady. Yeah, nice nice one, Martin. Really impressed with that. That was a good, good solid performance. It wasn't performance, clean man. either, but <laughs> better than the first time. Let's hope yeah. this first time. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so Megan Carter Davis coming through, just picking her way through. Like we said earlier, this is there's not that much route choice going on here. It's more just about being able to uh, stay in contact with the map and, and keep track of where you are. Something that Color really failed to do uh, on this mm. race. Didn't heed my warning. But but at least I could cheat my way straight to number three. <laughs> So, <laughs> colour in in my household, you're you're a bit of a catching features god. Um, but just so in creating that... maps, not in creating <laughs> catching features. <laughs> That's the problem. My shape right now for playing is really terrible. Mm. So, um, and it doesn't help to get older uh, when your brain gets slow. Yeah, you have these. You have these. Young competitors coming through. Joe, who I don't, he's a bit older than me, I think, but not that much. And obviously Rune as well. I don't really know the other people, but Robbie as well. There we go, Megan Carr Davis. And Rune's about the same age as me. Okay, so, right. Um, I have a plan for this last one. Um, and I'm going to have to type it because not everybody's here. But. What I want to do is a chase and start, where we have like the slowest person goes up first, fastest person goes up last. You right? can't set it up. You can't story. set it up. However, you can do a mass start and just tell people to go at the right time. <laughs> yeah, you can. But how uh, you can't see the time. But yeah, you will have the can charge you, of the. Do you not have a live a live clock when you're playing? Is everyone in the call? 
No. Actually, we have one. But if everybody would be in the call, it would be even easier. Then you could should be like go. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we have a clock. We can say. Yeah. If you want, I can make beeping noises. <laughs> <laughs> my specialities. Um, how many people do we have playing? We've got quite a few, don't we? Should we do uh, 10 second intervals or 30 second intervals? What do you think? 10 seconds, I think. Yeah, okay, cool. Is this um, real time or game time? Uh, game time. Yeah. Game time, so it might be tight in that. 40, then it's 40 seconds. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, do, we'll, do th we'll do 30 seconds game time, right? Game. 30 seconds in game. So who goes first and who goes last? I'll type the order in chat. Um, so that will take some time, no? We can make small talk. I'm quite good at small talk. Um, so, so, uh, Megan is off first, so she goes on go. Okay, then we'll go Schminty. Does everyone think that's, uh... Yeah. Schminty is off 30 seconds. No looking at the map before you start either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, and then shall we go, Martin? Uh, let's go. Let's go, Jonas. Jonas, you're going to be off. Uh, off one minute. This is game time, by the way. And then uh, I'm sure you can work out your thirty second intervals after that. So, um, go, Martin. You'll be off one thirty. Uh, and then I'm going to need some help. <laughs> from here on. Um, uh, Camilo, you can be yeah, off uh, yeah, two I minutes. I can go next. If, if I finish downloading the map. Uh, yeah, you can go off two minutes. Uh, then, then who? I guess uh, Robbie. Let's go Robbie. Robbie. Yeah. Off two minutes thirty. Then, then Colour. Or does Colour go above room? Uh, Colour goes above room. Rune, you're off three minutes. Uh, Color, you're off three thirty. And then. And then Jeremy and then Joe. No, Paulson in there as well. Oh yeah, sorry. I say Jeremy oh. then Paulson then Joe. Okay. Jeremy is off four. Paulson, you're off four thirty. And Joe, is off five minutes. Does everyone have a start time? I have one. <laughs> Does oh, everybody yeah. understand? <laughs> That's the real question. Yeah. <laughs> Martin understands. <laughs> He's in the That's good. Good. Probably good not, but... Not much gets past Martin. <laughs> Good, right, everyone understands. Uh, yeah, I bet everyone goes at the start as well. <laughs> 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 once uh, once Camilo is in. Are there, so there are people not in the, the call? Yeah, there's people not in the call. Uh, wow, that was, that was a thing. Uh, <laughs> good, good. Uh, so this has never been done before. Uh, this might not work. You're witnessing but... history, folks. Yeah. <laughs> this it's is an idea. Does heard. everybody know their their time? Yeah. Remembers the time. Yeah. Because that's the most important. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Yeah. This was something Let's that try um, to see came it, to see me. If it works. This this came to me whilst I was having a shower this morning. I was like, <laughs> man, this would be a good a good thing to try. 
Um, so yeah, we're just waiting on Chris. Here we go. So okay, let's try. <laughs> I have no idea if this is going to work. It's going to be so hard not just starting when it actually <laughs> yeah, starts. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we'll watch Megan. Megan will get us started. And then after 30 seconds, I can't even remember the order. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go, Megan off like, on the first control. Is it, is it, uh, Schminty next? Yeah, Schminty next. Good, good. It's and already working. Martin, is it? Martin must be feeling. Oh no, Jonas. After. Jonas going next. The performance in the. Oh yeah, yeah. After his performance. Oh, work. It's working. It is yeah. working. So Chris Millard already right on the heels of Megan Carter Davis. These two have been having a ding dong battle all evening. It'll be interesting to see if uh, if Chris can close that gap somewhat. Um, do we have other people moving? I think we have oh. more people moving probably. Um, still a few people sitting around at the start. Uh, we've got Robbie Lightfoot just off. Rune de Clerc is gone. He's out of there. Megan Carter Davis still in the lead right now. Uh, actually gapping Chris Smithard somewhat. Yeah. Um, who else? Has Joe Sunley left? Joe Sunley still in the start blocks. There goes off. Jeremy. Jeremy's off. We've just got nice two more speed. people in the start blocks. There goes Malfoy Paulson. And finally, it's Joe Sunley off at five minutes. Here he goes. Can he hunting them down. Them? They must so, be terrified right now. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Meg still in Megan Carter Davis still in first place. Uh, Joe Sunley in second, Jonas in third, Martin in fourth, Robbie Lightfoot in fifth, Rune de Clerc in sixth, Camilo already dropping down into seventh. He is not having a fun time out there. Uh, Color in eighth, Jeremy in ninth, and Joe Sunley in tenth. This is the furthest behind he has ever been in his life. So we have a little bit of a group forming here with uh, Robbie Lightfoot, Camilo, and Color. Uh, love to see it, a little, little bit of a, a group, and then we've got Megan, Jonas. Megan having a much better run than usual, so as well as being in first at the moment, some faster splits there. Yeah, definitely. I think um, it's it's been helped that this is now the third time that we've ran on this Erskine map, so she definitely has a handle on it a little bit more, although is currently making a mistake as we uh, talk about her. So. Um, so, and yeah. here comes Jonas overtaking Chris Millard. He is already falling away. And there is a big pack forming behind them. And Robbie and Rune in there. Rune, well. Rune de Clerc. This is surely this is Rune de Clerc's chance. He got quite a good seed coming into this. Um, yeah, he, quite, I, he's quite a favourable nice. draft. Um, this long leg is really, uh, really messing with them. Lots of questionable route choices happening right now. <laughs> I think Rune there with one of the better ones. Yeah, I think so. Rune and like Robbie taking there. the same route, so. Megan Carter Davis still in the lead. They've not managed to oh. catch her yet. Oh, uh, Rob, Robbie here coming in, caught up quite well. Yeah, Robbie like for coming into second. That was a, that was a two big minutes. Two yeah. minutes out of uh, Megan on that, that control. And brings up into third. Chris Miller dropping down the order like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> He'll be disappointed. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Chris now in a, a nice little pack there. We've got um, Jonas, Chris, and Color all together. And then up in front, we've got Megan, and Robbie, and Rune. We've uh, got everyone's really close like together. Joe How's here. Joe doing? Joe still still we've off the back actually. Well, uh, he has managed to pass Jeremy. So Jeremy well, and Camilo. Judging by how far back he he was, he's yeah, he's, he's getting there. But the gap is still quite big. We've got quite a big pack just up ahead. And if they can all work together, they might be able to. Uh, yeah, keep him behind. Yeah, that bit of road is uh, is out of bounds. Yeah, there's there's working together and then there's leading each other in the wrong direction. So yeah. It's always <laughs> an option here. So I think that Megan has officially lost her lead now. I think the yeah. main pack has got her. But she did well, you know, she held out all the way to the sixth control. Um, pretty good. Uh, Rune de Clerc now in the lead, in the lead, as you said earlier. Yeah, quite a, quite a favourable draft. Robbie Lightfoot hot on his heels. Is he following? We'll have to see. Ah, see. 
<laughs> Maybe one of the tactics here is to follow people. Yeah, exactly. As the faster people come past you from behind, why not follow them? As the faster people come past you, know that they are going to be getting them better than you. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Colour in third place, right behind Robbie Lightfoot. What's he thinking right now? Can we get a little insight or is he in too much thought? I'm too focused. No, no. Excellent. I'm... Love to hear it. I'm doing a mistake now, probably, with that root choice, but let's oh, see. Spicy. Going a different way from everyone else. Yeah. Uh, Just quirky. Just quirky. <laughs> I think that might have cost a bit for Robbie there, choosing to go down and then back up again. But let's see. And oh, really colour into first oh, place with that quirky root oh, choice. Quirky Who root will choice be there. kicking himself. A, a strike of brilliance. <laughs> the master is reclaimed his throne at the front of this pack. Rune the cleric caught on his heels, and they have gapped Robbie Lightfoot now. Uh, Jonas doing well. Good. Look at that. He is. Uh, he's stayed in there, and Joe suddenly, the shark is hunting them he down, closing the gap. How far control. is he behind? I we cannot need some tell update. you. <laughs> uh, yeah, color. Look at this. He has got a gap. What happened yeah. to Rune the cleric? Sorry, I looked away for a second. He's stuck on a fence. That might be his day over. I think his day is done. Oh, no, he got back, free. Back. He got free. Oh my word. What? I'm getting stuck here. I think Jonas might have been a, a bit um, given a good seed there. Yeah, I Jonas definitely doing well. well uh, pack, and I think he started third. I think the, the help from. And look at this. Joe's here. Is he? Is he in the group? He oh, is in the group. Oh up. my word. Colour has a gap, but Joe has ah, cut everyone else off. I think Stodge is ploughing along, taking oh, the ball just, out as he goes. You just love to see it. He's just ticking along, checking checking them off as he goes. Robbie with a... a Do you know what? Robbie ring. is still doing really well. He's still doing well. Getting stuck a little bit on that fence, though. Those fences are a bit tricky. There you um, go. Joe well, suddenly in second Joe place. down his neck soon. He's doing it. Not long to go though, not oh, very yeah, many yeah, controls left. Colour could hold on here, it might be tight. No! I did a mistake. <gasps> oh my word, has he opened the door for Joe Sunley? It is close. It is really I close. need to play it safe now. <laughs> should, looks like Colour should be able to hold on here. No, I don't think so. what Joe's like. <laughs> oh my word, play it safe. Yeah. Oh, wow, and there you go, Colour into the last control, coming into the finish, a good, good result there. Joe Sunley, he did well, but just wasn't quite up for oh, the challenge this time around. Oh, stress in the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I this. almost lost it there. Robbie Lightfoot in third yeah, place. Yeah, Robbie's doing well there. Really taking advantage of the uh, the, the other runners coming through. Rune the Clerk in fourth. I Rune. think Rune got really unfortunate here yeah. today. Got stuck I think, a lot. I think Rune would have been up there with Joe. Oh my word. And Malcolm yeah. Paulson coming in, in 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 fifth with Jonas in sixth. Jonas was doing really well, fell away a little bit at the end there, didn't quite catch what happened. Uh, Camilo also coming in with uh, Chris Miller, the main Carter Davis in the end. And Chris Miller has managed to catch Megan, uh, which wasn't looking possible early on in this race, but uh, he has done it. And these two are very close together now with not very many controls to go. What happened to Martin? Oh my word. I just realised Martin has had him there. He got stuck on a fence for about five minutes. Ah, okay. That'll do it. No. <laughs> that will do Actually, it. Actually, I was just 30 seconds slower than Joe. Is that true? That's impossible. That would be almost Superman for me. <laughs> <laughs> It might be true. That's um, almost there you go. Chris Millard beating Megan Carter Davis. But only just. Good but it looks between. really nice in this 3D view in the stream. Yeah. <laughs> Sprint maps look really fun. <laughs> I never knew that it looks so fun. Uh, I'm sorry, Rin. I don't know why you got so stuck. Um, you did well, though. You, you did good. Um, and yeah, that's it. That is all the races we have. Uh, we mm -hmm. just... Uh, I think Martin is Martin's. You, yeah, I've stuck. I, I got stuck on the fence. So I've yeah, decided. Yeah. We're fine. Um, Good fun, yeah, Thanks a lot. Um, color 
taking home the I don't know what most you call important this. race. <laughs> the, I would say no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, the, the big finale. The big finale. That's when you need to win. You don't need to win in qualification races. <laughs> you it's need nice. to do. You need to perform poorly in qualification. So <laughs> you get, the, you get to start ahead, and then you just was, finish was that it your final all along. Um, that was all oh, uh, my plan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just too rusty and too bad in catching features, especially in sprints. So. That one was actually a bit more like less, how do you say in English? Less curvy, less turning, yeah, less twisty. Yeah. twisty. Mm? Yeah. So that was a bit easier for my old brain. <laughs> uh, Chris, what did you think of the new format that we've launched? Uh, I don't know, I shouldn't try and do two things at once. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I'll let, I'll let you do the stream. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, I, that was very fun. Uh, thank you everyone for joining. Uh, yeah, thanks any... for inviting me. <laughs> thanks for having us. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, so big, big thanks to Chris for setting this all up. Yeah, thanks for coming. And, uh, thanks and bye. Yeah, I guess. See, see him again another time. Thank you. See you.